Hi, I'm Andrew Zesky, Engineering Manager for the Google Sites team. I'm here to show you how easy it is to set up your own group website using Google Sites. To create a new site, start by entering a name. Select the level of sharing you would like for editing the site and whether you would like the site to be viewable to the public. You can choose a website theme, either now or later, and then click the Create Site button. You've now created your home page, and you can edit the content just like a document. Click the Edit button and start writing. You can change the title, add text to the main document, upload attachments, and even leave comments on the page. Use the toolbar above to change fonts and styles. Add links, insert images, or embed documents. When you're done, click Save. To add a page, click the Create New Page button at the top left and give the page a name. In addition to the standard web page, there are different types of pages with built-in features for managing a dashboard, announcements, files, and lists. Let's take a closer look at announcements. Select where you want the page to go and click Create Page. Now you can add content to the page Then click Create Post. Google Sites also makes it easy to organize and manage pages. Clicking on the More Actions button brings up functions such as Print, Delete, and Move. You can subscribe to page and site updates to be notified of changes by email. Site sharing allows you to decide who can view, edit, and manage your site. You can invite others to help you edit the site just by adding their email addresses. Okay, so let's take a look at our Ski Club example. The home page keeps the group updated on important events, announcements, and ski reports. Members can share stories and pictures. The site also serves as a good point of reference for contact lists, user preferences, and club goals. It's easy to create your own website using Google Sites, and it's free. To get started, go to sites.google.com.